Hey guys, here we go. It's the infamous one, and this is another little commentary called Stupid Laws in the USA. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of Maine, and we might go on to another state depending on how much time I have left in this video. So, here we go. Shotguns are required to be taken to church in the event of Native American attack. Alright, so, you know, Native Americans, I haven't really seen an attack since, um, I never. And so, I don't really see the point of this law, but, you know, they, they probably happened like 300 years ago when, like, we first came to this awesome country called the USA, <coughs> where, like, people, like, find female, <coughs> and, um, yeah, all that good stuff, <coughs> yeah, okay, mm -hmm. um, you may not step out of a plane in flight. Now, that would just be stupid if you didn't have a parachute on. If you had a parachute on and you were going for skydiving and all that good stuff and you paid for them to take you out, I would still be a little, uh, I would still be a little, uh, you know, frightened, but eh, I'd be better today. Uh, after January 14th, you will be charged a fine for having your Christmas decorations still up. Alright, so, after January 14th, I better take down my Christmas decorations. Yep, buddy. But what if those are my lights all year round? Like, I'm too lazy to buy lights to put into my yard so I could see at night, so I just run Christmas wire all over the place. How about that, son? What if I do that? Then you give me fine every day that I don't have it down? Oh, well. Oh, well. To stroll down the street playing a violin is against the law. I like to stroll down the street and play my violin. That's my daily routine. I'm not going to give it up. It's illegal to gamble at an airport. Well, what, are you, what else are you supposed to do when you're waiting for your plane for like three hours? You're supposed to just sit there silently and fall asleep? No, people can steal your money then. So you just gamble it all away. Still getting it stolen from you, but it's more fun the way you're doing it. No person may roller skate on a sidewalk. Then where are you supposed to roller skate? Because I don't know. If I roller skate in the middle of the street, I might get hit by a car. I'd rather roller skate on the sidewalk because that would be safer. And if there is no sidewalk, then I just go on the shoulder. You know, whoop, yeah. If any part of a sign ordinance of a city are more, stri more stringent than federal law, even though they may be in conflict with them they will prevail now that just makes sense because um in companies and stuff you're allowed to make more stringent rules than what there is already set as uh like standards by the government in the u.s so that kind of makes sense that one but i, I don't know whatever Mercury thermometers may not be sold in the city. Alright, that, that's reasonable because if you swallow mercury, you're going to die or get really, really sick. So, yeah. Rather not take that chance. Excuse me while I burp. Whoa, that was kind of weird. <laughs> uh, it is illegal to expectorate from any second story window. I am guessing that word that I can't pronounce is like hang outside of or like stand outside of. So I'm guessing that's what it means. And I'm probably right, but I don't know. Um, so I can't expectivate out of a second story window. That's not that, that's cool with me because I don't really like heights. So I don't want to be hanging out of it anyways. It's illegal to park in front of a Dunkin' Donuts. Why? Cops do it all the time. Uh, not really, but that would be pretty funny if they all did. Um, I don't see the problem with parking in front of it as long as you're not, like, really blocking the entrance with, like, your car door and, like, the entrance, yeah. Um, dog leashes may not be over 8 feet in length. Who would walk their dog 8 feet away from them? That's just crazy. Deer may not be fed. I, apparently they have an um, issue with deers in Maine. And I don't really like deer because I've heard of a bunch of stories where they like destroy your car or swerve out of the way and you, and you destroy your car while trying not to hit the deer. 
which will destroy your car. <laughs> so yeah. All right, so we're done with Maine. That was pretty quick. Let's go to Florida. Don't think I've done Florida yet. So yeah, this is gonna be Maine and Florida. Oh my god, two in one episode. I feel like a boss. So dumb laws in Florida. It's illegal for a doctor to ask a patient whether they own a gun. I don't know why they would do that, but I think it's because, like, a doctor got killed or something and some of that good stuff. Uh, The state constitution allows for freedom of speech, a trial by jury, and pregnant pigs to not be confined in cages. Alright, so you let out the pregnant piggy pig, and it goes oink, 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 and it has a baby in the middle of the street. That baby dies because it gets ran over by the car. The pig goes into post-traumatic stress and runs into the middle of the street to kill itself. Now, do you really want a pig killing itself? Don't have a pig kill itself and let them stay in their cages. Yeah. The state constitution allows... Oh, wait. (laughs) I just read that one. Uh, One may not commit any unnatural acts with another person. Alright, so that means no eating faces off of other humans. Oh, my God. Well, this law is actually older than that, but still. Unmarried couples may not commit lewd acts and live together in the same residence. Yeah, that happens, like, everywhere, so I don't see how they will be uh, enforcing that law yet. It's basically, like, the norm now to, like, live with someone for, like, a couple months before you get married. And, you know, when you're living together, you know, stuff happens. Um, Doors of all public housing must be open outwards. Yeah, that makes sense, because if there's a fire, you're going to run out. You're not going to run to the door, pull it open, and then run out. You're just going to push the door open, and you're like, get out of my way, you person that I don't want to say anything about because I'm going to get killed if I do. Um, (laughs) uh, Corrupting the public morals is defined as a nuisance and is declared as a... Excuse me. Misdemeanor offense. So, corrupting public morals? I don't really know what that means. I'm going to guess it's like um, prostitution or something. I don't really know. Uh, Women may be fined for for falling asleep under a hairdryer, as can a salon owner. That just must be painful because if you fall asleep, you're going to put your head back or forwards and you're going to burn your head off and you're going to be like, ah, mommy, what did I do? Um, a special law prohibits unmarried women from parachuting on Sunday or shall risk a risk fine or jail. So if you're unmarried, you can't go parachuting on Sunday, but wait till Monday and then do the party dance in the mid and if an elephant is left tied to a park meter the park fee has to be paid just as it would for a vehicle i don't know who rides elephants in um, florida but eh, whatever it's life it's illegal to sing in public while attire in swimsuit. Hmm. I would definitely do that. That that seems like something I would do. Just just saying. Um, men may not be seen publicly in any kind of strapless gown. Alright, so I can't wear my uh, guilt or whatever it's called. The thing that the uh, Scottish people wear, I think. That play the bagpipes. I can't wear that thing. Uh, whatever. And cut off the straps, you know. Yeah. Um, dun, 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 dun. Having sexual relations with a porcupine is illegal. Well, that would just be very painful, and I wouldn't want to have to do that. It's illegal to skateboard without a license. 
Um, I've skateboarded in Florida and I did not get fined. Just saying. When having sex, only the missionary position is legal. So they're going to be watching you. They're going to be like, yo, they're just about to do it. Oh, they're not doing it in the missionary position. Everyone move in. Move, go, 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 go. And then they're going to like bust down your door and be like, you're not doing it in the missionary position. You are going to jail. And then you both go to jail and you just, whatever. You may not fart in public places after 6 p. I'm guessing it's 6 p.m. because this is even a typo. Haha. <laughs> Um, but still, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I was actually thinking about, like, what if there's a stupid law that made you not be able to fart, like, in, like, public, and you got fined, like, $20 for it, and then when you went to, like, court, they were like, oh, yeah, we just changed it to $50, pay us $50. Yeah, that would just be retarded, like, and then they even have a stupid law. That's retarded. All right. It's considered an offense to shower naked. I don't know any other way to shower. So, huh, I'm going to be offending people. You are not allowed to break more than three dishes per day or chip the edges of more than four cups and or saucers. Well, if you um work in a restaurant and it's kind of busy, you know, there's people going back and forth, you're eventually going to drop the dishes or glasses and you are going to have more than four breaks. So, yeah. Oh, well. Oral sex is illegal. I don't know who that benefits, but or whatever. Uh, it's probably like a woman govern governor for like a couple years, and she was like, "I don't want to do it anymore." Nope. Mm-mm. No. Get out of there. <laughs> you may not kiss your wife's breasts. Wait, isn't that part of like the fun? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to live in Florida. So, uh, yeah, sorry guys for going over, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, goodbye.